Hello, guys, gals, and everything in between. I am Penguin. And you might be thinking, holy shit, Pengu video on a Tuesday, and it's Minecraft? Yeah, it is. So, before we properly get started, there's a few things I want to say. Uh, first of all, this is modded. This is a mod pack of Feed the Beast Ultimate Reloaded. You might have seen I put up a, a little blooper from my test recording and, of me throwing some sheep into lava. Because sometimes you just have to do that. But this series is going to be a bit different from things I've done in the past. Uh, Forager is not over. You don't need to worry about that. Forager is still going on. But this is going to run alongside it on Tuesdays and Thursdays. The days where I usually didn't uh, do anything. I didn't have videos in those slots before because I had issues putting up out that much content. So, yeah. I'm having a lot less issues making videos now that I'm doing this unedited, sort of long play-esque format. And honestly, my only real goal that I want to do is share my video game experiences with you guys. And I want to do that as much as I possibly can. So, we're going to stick with this, and these episodes are going to be an hour long... There is going to be some in between episode resource gathering and mining, because Minecraft, for anyone who hasn't played it, somehow, is a very, very grindy game at times, at least starting off. It gets easier as you go along, especially modded when you get better tools and machines to do it for you in some cases, but for a while there might be some off-camera jumps in progress. Anyway, let's not waste any more time, and let's just jump into this. I am excited. And we have started off in a magic forest. It's almost like this, the game knew I really wanted to explore Thomcraft. So this is in Minecraft version 1.12.2. 1.12 kind of became the go-to modding version as far as I know after 1.7.10. Like, for the longest time, that was the go-to version. And it's one of the only versions I have actual experience with. I used to play another mod pack by Feed the Beast called Infinity Evolved. And they said this is a sort of spiritual successor to it. It's a catch-all mod pack that doesn't have, I guess, a direct focus on anything in particular. It, mo it has a mix of magic, technology, and building. And I like a little bit of all of that, so we're gonna go with this, and after we're done messing around in this mod pack, I'll probably go about assembling my own, and obviously I need to learn about what mods I like and what I don't before I can build my own pack and become the new Direwolf 20. I say that as I look at a woofo. Hello, Bubbles. How are you? Hello. Now, I don't actually want to live in this magic forest. It's very pretty, don't get me wrong, and I love these forests. But in, uh, in previous versions of Thomcraft, there were these anno really annoying wisp enemies that would fly around and shoot lightning at you. They weren't all that dangerous, but they were really annoying to try and kill. So, I'm going to move away from this area just a bit. I haven't done any exploring in this world first. I don't know why there's a fucking death marker there. That's actually really weird. On my mini-map, if you look, you can see a little skull. That's actually supposed to be a death marker. But, this is a brand new world. I have... I literally generated it. Hit pause, then hit started recording. So, I don't know what the fuck's going on with that. Oh, another thing that I should note, I do have cheats enabled, but that's because I enjoy taking screenshots of the things I build and posting them around, and sometimes you need to fly to be able to get good camera angles. I can be pretty OCD about my Minecraft photography, so... Sorry if that puts you off, I don't cheat when playing, though. 
It's literally just in between stuff for taking pictures. Ooh, some dark oak. It's very nice. So, version 1.12. This is, I believe, the World of Color update. It's one that I don't have very much personal experience with because I was uh, in a very hectic point of my life at the time and I didn't really have time to play games. Like at all. So, I don't know a lot about the update itself, but... I really picked Minecraft back up again around the Buzzy Bees update. So, this is going to be a very interesting experience, I think, not to mention all the mods and stuff we have. I've got raspberries! And obviously I need to get the flowers. We must make the pretty. I enjoy building in this game a bit more than I do in Terraria. <clears throat> and, um... There's a mod in this pack I've really wanted to mess around with called Chisels and Bits. It, uh, it's like, from what I understand, ugh, sorry, hiccups. It's like Forge Microblocks on crack. It, uh, makes it so you can essentially take, like, this block here, break it down into a bunch of tiny little blocks, and then make your own little blueprinted out, uh, things with that. You can save them for replication. Like, you could make, like, very detailed things with it. Yeah, why the fuck are there waymarks on this? It's a brand new world. I am very confused. I have played a bit on this mod pack before. That's gonna fuck with me. And it was mainly just to test it out to see if it worked. I don't know what's going on there. Oh, jeez. Birch forest. I think there's poison ivy on the ground in these fucking places. I need to find a place to set up, though, like, r pretty soon, hopefully. I don't know what kind of base I'm going to do yet. At all. I have zero plans right now, other than play game. What are you doing here? Why you do? What you doing? No. Ah, fuck, I'm on fire! Fuck off. I did it. <laughs> oh, dear. That was odd. Alright, you know what? This spot's as good as any. So... Oh, it's a great wood tree. Is there spider webs? If there's spider webs, there's a spawner under it. I don't see any, though, so we're safe. Yep, this spot's as good as any. Right here. Fuck it. I don't care. Righto, let's get this started properly. I have to say, I do like how the forestry hives actually have little bee particles now. Oh, look at them. Little bees. These are buzzies. Forestry is another mod I never really fucked with too much. I know that high-end bees, especially with, like, some of the add-ons that are in this, like, magic bees and things of that so sort, can essentially give you, like, really good resource production for, like, everything. At least I think so. I'm not entirely sure on that. So, yeah, that is another thing I plan on messing around with at some point. There's a, there's a lot of things I'm hoping to do with this series, but in terms of actual hard plans, I have none. Other than, as I said, play game.
Also, um, I'm going to be playing on normal difficulty. Because I am not that good at this game. I enjoy it, and I've been playing it for years. But I suck at it. Like, uh, you know what? We're gonna do it on camera. Normal difficulty. Lock. There. Now you can't say I'm frickin' peaceful swapping or anything like that. Cause I ain't no bitch. Also, I am Pengu. Hello. I do not have my eyebrow feathers. But I am Pengu. Okay. We are going for a very simple survival shelter, obviously. It's night one, you like unless you have multiple people to get resources with, you almost never build anything more than a little shit shack on night one, especially considering it's already starting to get fucking dark. Christ almighty, I don't even have torches. I fucked around way too long. Okay. Time to go into frantic pengu crafting mode. As it happens almost every time I play this fucking game. Because I have bad time management skills. Which makes it amusing that I enjoy Stardew Valley at all. Alright, enough for that. And one piece for torches. We'll cut down the floaty we'll cut down more trees tomorrow. What the oh Thomcraft crystals. I know how to get started in Thomcraft, but that is literally it. Oh, opened opposite way I expected. Okay. Right. Uh, okay. Let me do that. And then we do that. Then we cover this bitch up. There. House 1.0. I don't know if I'm going to be staying in this birch forest. It depends on what I find as I explore. There is some stuff I need to be doing first. Aw, oh, fuck. I think since I have cheats enabled, it's telling me all the aspects. Nah. I'm not willing to deactivate them because I enjoy taking my uh, bilge pictures too much. Sorry if that bothers you. Not changing it. <laughs> Just how I play. Okay, why the fuck is F not putting it in my offhand? One second. Um, controls, okay, where is it, swap item in hands, button 4, okay, the heck is that? Ah, there we go. I forgot I'd done some control customization already. Oh, jeez. Dark. Very dark. Okay. We have enough wood left over for one ch one chest. So we're going to plop that down there, and <clears throat> oh, 
Oh, look at that. Coal. I need that. Give. We're just gonna do a little bit of basic resource gathering now. Oh, spooky ambience. I don't even know if the volume's up enough for you guys to hear that. <sighs> there. Good enough. <laughs> All right. Hmm. Hello. Spooks? Oh, that's a sheep. Okay, so I'm going to get a little bit more wood and hopefully not get spooked on. Because if you look on the minimap, those red dots are enemies. And the fact that they're not faded out means they are on the surface. So those are all things that could potentially spook on me. Oh, yep, there's a zombie. Hi. Um, I have a sword. Well, it's a stick. Well, Legend of Zelda, you're ass to the debt back to the grave, bitch. Uh, I'm gonna try... Get enough wool for a bed. I don't want that skeleton to notice me. Oh, jeez. More zombies. Come here, shit lips. What's up, fart knocker? Let's- Ow! Let's go. Eh! Uh! Fucked! Oh, jeez. Leave me alone, skeleton. Cranberries. Ooh, that's a creeper. Nope. Get in the house. You know what I said about not being a bitch? <laughs> oh, no. All right. So we're going to make a bunch of those... Got some mutton, so I'm gonna cook that up. Put those in there, as well as that. And for the sake of my own sanity, stone sword. For better smackins. I want the wool to make the night go faster. So I'm gonna go and potentially die. Oh, you're a brown sheep, really? 
I can't use that. I need three of the same color of wool now. Because of the World of Color update. Oh jeez, hi. Ow! Cunt. Pig. Oh, there's a sheep. Oh, skeleton. It saw me. What's up, dickhead? Get cheesed. Alright, I made it through most of the night. Sun's coming up. I'm lighting up my general area. Cause, oh, God. Oh! Oh, there's two of them? Come on. <laughs> that worked. Alright. I'm gonna pick these back up because I don't know... How far out I want to extend my lighting yet. I just need one more piece of white wool. a sheep. I don't want to kill the cows yet if I can help it. This is actually a really bad spot. That's gray. You get to live for now, sheep. I mean, I did kill the brown one, so I guess it's only fair. Come here. Death to sheep. This is definitely only going to be a temporary shelter. I have to do some more exploring and find a better spot first. But, even though it's just a temporary shelter, it still needs to be safe. Ah, there you are. Come here. Give me your skin. That creeper following me? Yes, it is. What's up, dickhead? Let's go. Oh. 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 That's right. I ain't no bitch. I kill creepers. Sometimes. <laughs> okay. We got that. Very nice. We'll make a bed. Very nice indeed. There we go. And I'm I'm going to set these to cook. All right. Actually off to a halfway decent start. <gasps> Ow. Oh, I see you there. Stalker. Come here. Come here. Batch. Oh god. Oh no. 
Die. Thank you. Okay. So, what is in this area? Oh, there's some planes off to the right. Let's go check those out. I will eventually go down in those caves and do some splurring. We spelunky now, boys. Hmm. Unless there's something drastically awful that I can't see from here, I'll probably choose these planes as my, uh, basing point for the simple fact of space to build. Oh yeah, look at that. That is lovely. Um... Okay, you can see my base right here. Uh, I do not know how to leave waypoints. One second, I need to look up. Th look that up. How did I do that before? I actually don't know how I did that before. I completely blanked. Uh, options, controls. New waypoint is apostrophe. Okay. And the waypoints menu is you. Okay. Well, let's let's do some exploring. Okay, looks like we got some spruce trees over there. Very nice. Give me a jungle and this will be a damn near perfect spot. Here we got Taiga. I think that's how you say that. I actually don't know. Got a Taiga there. We got a lake. Sunflowers, pony, and horse. Then we got a lake, so there's clay. That's good. Just kind of checking the map every now and then. We got some more regular forest down there. Okay, but what is to the north of us right now? That's what I want to know. I'm just trying to see what all is in this general area right now in terms of surrounding resources. Because I, I am going to build here. That's, that's just how it is. That's what's going to happen. I just want to see what is, as I said, around. We got oak, we got spruce, I saw dark oak back the other way. There's caves for mining, animals, flowers, bees, there's a lake, so we have some clay at least. <laughs> and we got some mountains, it looks like. Yep. Lots of sheep. You won't see me complaining about that. Alright. We 
got mountains, we got a river. We got some ocean right over there and what looks like some swamp. Yo, is that a Badlands? Hold on. Okay, like, come morning, we're gonna have to come down there because I don't know what that is. I think... I think that's a mesa. It looks like it might be a mesa. I think we just got inc Did I just get incredibly fucking lucky here? That might be one of the modded biomes. I don't know. I don't know them all by sight yet from the map. Oh, where's the sun at? Right there. It's going down. I need to get back home. All right. <clears throat> okay. So yeah, we've we're definitely going to be building in this plains here. Plenty of space to work with. We got spruce trees, we got oak trees, dark oak is a very short walk away. And then we got a magic forest, and I know I saw a silverwood tree out there. It's the most common place to find them. Okay, so while we are at this little temporary base, my main focus is going to be gathering enough supplies to build an okay-sized uh, little starter house. That's mostly going to include chopping down trees. Because it, it, they're in abundance. And then I'm going to move the resources over to where I want to build. And then build the house. I tend to go for at least a decent sized place and that looks nice. Right off the bat, I'm not the best builder, but I wouldn't say I'm bad at it either. I can make an aesthetically pleasing house given a couple in game days. We also need more stone, obviously, for tools and other such things. <laughs> This mod, there's also a mod that's just called Chisel in this game, or in this mod pack. It adds in a bunch of different textures for uh, stone and wood and a bunch of other blocks that makes it a lot more visually appealing to build. Gives you a lot more options while able to maintain the same general color scheme. It's a mod I really personally enjoy working. Ooh, cool. I, I, I like the chisel mod, but I'm really looking forward to trying chisels and bits, being able to make my own unique shapes and things. I don't think I'm going to fuck with that at my very first house, but it's definitely something that's on the to-do list, damn it. Go there. All right. So we will need... Pickaxe, amount of wood, shit. I need to make a regular axe. I'm glad the bees don't get mad at you. At least not for just being around. I know if you, oh jeez, I know if you hit the, the hive, the bee particles will actually rush towards you and swarm you like actual bees, and I'm pretty sure you take actual, like, more damage the more bees that are attacking you. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck? That was weird. Okay, whatever though. Alright. Let's cut down some trees. Gonna want to get a good few stacks of wood. Not planks like the actual logs. 
There's only birch in this forest, but there are more types within very close proximity. I'm also probably going to do some initial cave exploration before this episode is over. Because there are a few around here that, uh, that are deserving of some poking around. getting comfy. So I know I said it before, but I really apologize if you guys preferred the edited videos versus these low effort, more chill, long play style videos. I have a hard time getting the creative spark I need to edit. Yeah, it is just really goofy little sound bites and gifs most of the time, but still that does take creativity to think of what to put there. And because of the pain issues I have, it's not very viable for me to do as a regular thing. I just, the pain is too distracting, that's all there is to it. But the thing is, I hate being idle more than I hate, uh... more than I... Eh, words. I failed that sentence. I just want to make videos for you guys, even if they are low effort, even by my standards. It sucks not being able to edit as much as I want, or really at all anymore, because of the allergy season really kicking my fucking face in, quite literally. But I, I still enjoy doing this. The main goal of my channel is to share my experiences with you. Because gaming always has been a social thing. Even before it was video games. Like before you would need other players to play like board games and su stuff like that. And then like that's what gaming always has been. That's the main reason I do what I do. It may not be as entertaining for some people, but I still enjoy making it and I need something to do during my day. I mean, I'm a penguin. I can't exactly walk into the gas station and apply for a job. I was like, like I'm, I'm three feet fucking tall. I can't fucking do anything. I would, like... You think I want to fucking stand on a step stool to just deal with assholes at a gas station? Nah, fuck that. My handler's fine with me just doing this, so whatever. So yeah, this is going to be the thing from now on. Oh, fuck you, Axe. Bad timing. But yeah, for the foreseeable future, um, it's going to be uh, Minecraft on Tuesdays and Thursdays with hour-long videos. And then Forager continuing with the... Uh, 30 minute videos on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. That's not changing. You don't need to worry about that. There's just going to be more Pengu for you to enjoy. Because I am a generous individual. And because I have nothing better to do. <laughs> All right. So yeah, we got uh, some birch, not as much as I'd like. Uh, 
Okay, where were those cave entrances that I saw? I don't remember. I am blanking so hard right now. Oink. Okay, here they are. Hello. Oh, jeez, hi. Yeet. Oh, jeez. Ho! Ho! Oh, wow. Transmutation shard. What the fuck? Retro exchange. Okay, so these are the crystals from the new Thomcraft. And I need to gather a certain amount of a variety of these in order to start in the mod. That is literally all I know about it. Also, there are bees underground. Okay. That's not how bees work, but whatever game. You do you. Got copper. Bauxite. I don't know what, he, what bauxite is used for. Yeah, the main thing I'm down here for is iron and crystals right now. God, I love that noise. It's like a little wind chime. Okay, let's make a path. Get the stuff. Hello. Okay. Kill the water. Hello. Oh. Ah, iron. Nice. Just light this up a tad. Hi! Bye! Idiot. Oh, jeez. They're gonna come around, ain't they? Yep. There's a way through. So let's mine this. Sounds like zombie made it through. Yep. What's up, idiots? Not gonna go well for you. Idiot. Yeah, I know I need a variety of crystals, like a bunch of different types. But I don't know which ones. And I don't really want to look it up. Because I kind of want to make it, like, just keep the surprise element. Makes things a bit more fun. I try to avoid wikis if at all possible. Like I literally just looked up how to get started. And it did say exactly what I need but we all know my memory is garbo. Hey idiot come on come this way. Hey. Hey. Ow. Probably not a good idea to do this without food on me. Getting lava! Shit lord. Okay, I'm gonna come back with food. Okay. Up this way. Up this way, yes. Past the cave bees. That somehow exist. I'm not one to question video game logic. That just leads to headaches. Alright.
Yeah, we're gonna sleep. Then go back with food. It's not much, but it's something. Alright. Your fingers tingles. You awaken from a strange... What? Okay. Oh, this is the Thomcraft thing. I, I had a different... I had the Mind Together tab open, which is MMO chat, essentially. I don't know how to get it to work right. I had the strangest dream last night. In the dream, I took three of those strange crystals I've been finding, ground them with a handful of redstone in a bowl, using a piece of flint. The crystals had to be of different types, but I did it property... Then the result was a strange glowing dust. In the dream, I, sp I took the dust and sprinkled it on a bookcase, but the dream ended before I saw what happened. I wonder, should I do what the dream showed? I have the impression the dust was going to reveal something wondrous, but dangerous. Ooh, mystery! But yes, that is how you get the Thalmanomicon now. That is a word and a half to attempt to say. Thamanomicon. Thamanom boop 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 boop. Thamanom boop 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 boop. <laughs> oh dear. Alright. I am just going to fill that in because fuck that. Alright. We have a bunch of those. So we're going to need a bowl, a piece of flint, and three different types of crystals. Shouldn't be too hard to get. Let's take that, the berries, <laughs> sticks, and a bit of wood with us because wood is important. I'm just going to throw that in there. And make a bit of... Oh, lag. No. Okay, there we go. It stopped. Yay. I don't know if all that recorded, but I just had a lag spike. I am going to make an, uh, a chest plate because armor. I'm also going to let this finish. No, that is one of the only glaring issues with this PC is the fact that it does not have very much RAM. I'm going to be fixing that as soon as possible. There. Now we have a bit more protection. Let's head back into the caves. Over this way. Here we go. <clears throat> Ow. I will eventually go through and get all the ore. Just not what I'm doing right now. Right now I'm trying to get a halfway decent starter inventory of tools. And materials. So now we have those white crystals. Uh, entropy. Oh, they're black, not white. Ah! Fuck shit. I have a feeling we're going to need a lot of these crystals as time goes on. So I'm going to mine these wherever I can. Ooh, look at that. Very big hole. Hmm. 
Let's just cut off that lava flow. I do not want to put up with that, and I want that iron. So you know what? Fuck your lava. I have no use for it. Not yet, anyway. And there are better sources of it. Than a little single shitty block. <sighs> so I don't know if I'm gonna get the main, the starter house of the main base built this week. It kind of depends on how things go next episode. Probably not going to push too hard for it. I tend to just like letting Minecraft follow its own course and just take things as they go. The main attraction for me right now is Thomcraft. I will be di dipping my flippers into other technology based mods as time goes along for the sake of industry and things like that. But as of right now, I'm really interested in seeing what the new versions of Thomcraft have. They're not just updated versions of each other, it's more like a series of mods because each of them has radical differences. This is like this whole thing with the, these crystals didn't exist in the last version of Thomcraft that I played, which was in Minecraft 1.7.10, which was forever ago. There's a reason they're a numbered series and not just Thomcraft. They all share the same general themes and tend to build off of one another in terms of mechanics, but there are very big differences between them. And I actually really like that. Oh, jeez. Fuck off. That's gonna be a bitch to get down there, isn't it? Especially with those fuckers. Okay, I need more torches. That'll last me for now. Alright, so that tunnel down there looks like a good next uh, step for progressing. Oh, jeez, hi. Um, or that. That works too. So we'll just do that. Leave a path for ourselves. Oh, jeez. Hi. There's a bunch of them. I want this iron. It's important. Was that it? Fuck off. Oh! Heh <laughs> You missed! Idiot. <laughs> oh! <laughs> That's right, fight each other. This is doom now, bitches. In fighting. Oh god, there's a creeper. Shoot the creeper! Blow up! Alright, so I'm gonna do something. Try and thin the herd a bit. Alright, come on! Come one, come all, to Uncle Pengu's ri wild ride. Oh, jeez, they're stuck. Idiots. Yup! <laughs> yes, fight each other for my amusement. Okay, so the zombies are gone. If I can get rid of that creeper, I'll be much happier. <laughs> Idiots. Alright, let's make a way down over there. 
I need the saturation to heal up, so... Oh, there's a witch! <laughs> no quaffing. Don't quaff. No chug jug. Okay. Poison sucks. Poison sucks. Oh. Fucking thanks. He just killed my fucking weight. God damn it. Okay. So this got hairier than expected, but we're... We're still okay. We'll do that. <laughs> I want to light this up. Ah! Blue crystals. That's a third kind. Ow! Dick. I'm sorry, Bat. Oh, boy. We're hurting a little bit. Need a moment to heal. Give me crystals. Come on, eat it. I'm all right. This has just been action-packed past couple minutes, and brain is a little bit fry. Oh, hi. Thank you. Okay, we got some gold there. Oh, jeez. More green crystals. I'm fairly sure these crystals I'm gathering represent the four base aspects of uh, Thomcraft, which are, in essence, earth, air, fire, water, order, and entropy. So I am going to need another pickaxe very soon. So I'm going to do a bit of mid-spelunking crafting here. This is why we bring wood with us. Because not only do I need another pickaxe very soon, I am also running out of torches again because I didn't make very many. Okay. Take the crafting table with us. I want to see if I can find some redstone before I head back up. I don't know if I will be able to. I don't really know what most of these ores are, which is why I'm ignoring them. I'm sorry if that's bothering you. But I'm on a very specific hunt right now for resources. I'm kind of sticking to that. Oh, jeez. Hi. Stop that. I wish I had a motherfucking shield.
Oh, it auto replaced it. Nice. All right, I saw a creeper. Hi. Could you not? Could you just not exist? Thanks. Rude. It destroyed my iron! You prick. Oh! Yo! Whoa! Back off, Babu. I ain't afraid to hit a kid. Okay. Cover the... Light, 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 light. Fuck. Shit. That could have gone very bad very quickly. Ooh, we got a name tag, though. Tin ingot ones. I'm gonna leave this for now. I don't know how to build farms around spawners. <laughs> But, now that we have know where this is, might as well just leave it there. Galena. I'm unhappy with how low on mutton I am running. So I may not get redstone this time around. Ha ba ba. Okay. You need to go. I can get the flint from anywhere. Because you just need to dig up gravel to get it. It's very easy to get your hands on flint. God damn it. That led absolutely nowhere. Alright, give me the coal. Alright, so this episode is reaching its maximum, so I'm going to start heading back up. After I gather all this coal, because it is important. And in the next one... We are going to probably build a strip mine somewhere by the base. A little temporary shack. And, uh... Try and get the redstone that we need. And maybe some diamonds if we luck out. I'm actually fairly low down right now. I didn't expect this cave would go that low. Because we're at, uh... Y18. You can see the coordinates I'm at under the, uh, over on the right under the mini-map. Alright, so let's start heading back up. Oh, didn't see that. Hello. Alright. I'm not gonna grab all the coal right now. I need to get back up so I can end this episode. I don't wanna, I don't wanna end it anywhere but home because I'm paranoid and get lost easy. Okay. I believe this is the way we came. Okay, so yeah, there's the cave. So yeah, it's this way. Yep. Alright, I know where we are. Oh god, I think it's dark out. Yep. Sun's either going down or coming up. Either way, I don't like it. Sun is coming up. We were in the caves all night. No surprise there. 
All right. So next up, I need to find some redstone to make this magic powder. The magic space cocaine. Or something. I don't know. We're just going to throw those in there. Those general... Oh, I have some redstone! Okay, I must have gotten it from the uh, box. But Okay, that actually works. So, I guess in the next episode, we will focus on... I don't know. We'll figure it out later. Alright. Yep, yeah, ending it. Alright. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And I hope I can see... Ho uh, uh, bye! <laughs>